Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Hi, I'm Tim Van Orden. The video that I posted a few days ago about public speaking for shy people has caused quite a buzz. A lot of people are talking about it and really excited about the information that I shared. So I thought I'd make a few more videos about shyness and communication. And as I was thinking about what to say, I remembered a TED talk that I saw about a month ago where the speaker got up on stage and for maybe 30 seconds didn't say a word. And then finally, when he did speak, he said, please bear with me, I'm very nervous. Audience didn't know what to do. It's a really awkward talk. <laughs> it's probably the worst TED talk I've ever seen. Because in a sense, what he did when he said, I'm really nervous, he told the audience that it's all about him. It's not about them. He wasn't really interested or concerned in their experience. He was simply telling them what his experience was, and it wasn't a positive one. Well, what are they going to do with that? He hasn't given them anything yet. He hasn't offered them anything yet. So how could you turn that around? How could you be on stage, really nervous, scared to death, not knowing what to say, and turn that to your advantage? Instead of making it about you, you can make your nervousness about them. Instead of making a statement, I'm scared, you can ask a question. Have you ever been in a situation where you needed to speak to a group of people but you were scared to death? Your knees were shaking, your stomach was turning, your throat was closing off and you couldn't get the words out. Have you ever felt that before? And of course, most people have had that experience. Most people are scared to death of public speaking. So yeah, they're going to feel that. And now you've got them not only thinking, but you've got them feeling. You've got them relating, and you're making it about them. You're talking about your own nervousness, but you're allowing them to experience your nervousness through their own experience, through their own memories. You've now got them engaged. And then you can ask them another question. What did you do? Did you turn around and walk away? Did you give up? Did you speak anyways? What happened? How do you behave when you're really scared and really nervous? And you've started a dialogue with your audience. You're sharing that you're scared and nervous without directly saying it. You're talking about it because basically everything that you're describing is what's going on for you right now, but you're allowing them to feel that in themselves and creating rapport with them. So now they're on your side because they can probably see that you're nervous, but they can also see where that lies in themselves. And this is something you can do not just with a large group of people, but you can also do it with an individual. The shy person wants the other person to do all the work. The shy person wants the other person to take care of them. Look at me. See how scared I am. See how shy I am. See that I'm having a hard time talking. Please reach out to me. But what the person is really seeing is, it's all about you. You want me to do all the work? Why should I do all the work? I don't know you. What have you done for me? And the main problem with shyness is that it's built on a really intense self-focus. So the way to get that focus off of you and onto the other person is to take whatever it is that you're feeling and ask the other person if they felt that. And then see what shows up. See what they say. An organic conversation will either flow or it won't, but you've now opened the door. If they're open to that communication and they appreciate the fact that you're curious about them and you're asking questions, well then great. Maybe you'll have a conversation. Maybe you won't. But at least the door is open. And you used your fear, you used your nervousness as a way to open that door. So just because you're scared doesn't mean that you can't talk to someone. Remember that. Use that fear as a way to connect with them, as a way to relate with them. Okay? I hope that helps. See ya.